Well, folks, like the title says, let's start this video with a little cold jaw view. Bench, but he'll grab the puck. Jeff Petrie to the circle. Out from Caulfield, scores! Cole Caulfield, ladies and gentlemen. You think this kid's playing inspired or what? Amazing stuff, guys. Just amazing stuff. Three quick things we're going to go through in this quick breakdown here on the Drew Deeks channel. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Cole Caulfield, four goals in five games, playing inspired under Marty St. Louis. And Paul Byron scoring a goal in his 500th NHL game. And, of course, the main story of this one, of course, Caulfield getting uh, you know the tying goal and the overtime goal, but Marty St. Louis getting his first win as an NHL head coach. And, yes, I didn't put the interim tag in there. We'll give it to him for this one, Marty St. Louis. Well, where else do we start? Um, actually, you know what? We'll start at the beginning of the game here because Paul Byron, yes, getting a goal in his 500th NHL game, stating not too long before the game that him and his wife may want to stay in Montreal for life. They they really love it there, which is a great thing to hear out of him. But just the fact that Paulie B was able to get a goal in this game on a feed from Arturi Lekkonen, just just capping off the the tenure so far from Paul Byron in Montreal. You just really love to see something like that. Now, not too long after, of course, we did see that Robert Thomas came down and got a shorthanded goal. And I think all of us collectively watched Jeff Petrie on that play and we're like, oh, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Because he just didn't really make a decision about who he was going to cover, right? And in that case, you take the player and you let the goalie worry about the pass and make the save. But Jeff kind of went in between in between both guys there. So I think that's why you're frustrated on that play from Petrie. He just didn't didn't make a quick enough decision in the middle of the play, decided to go over to Thomas to try to prevent the shot, but it doesn't happen. It goes back and forth. Um, or he actually, he did go to try to defend the pass and it came back to Thomas and he put it in anyway into an empty net. All right, so as we know, guys, Cole Caulfield ties up the game really late. And this honestly could have been a disaster. The, well, not a disaster because based on the way this game almost ended with Pavel Bushnevich, getting a one-timer with 18, 18, 41 seconds, 18 minutes and 41 seconds into this game. There was only a minute and 19 seconds left for the Canadians to tie it. And you just assumed that they weren't going to do it. And then sure enough, Weidman uh, from, and also from Jeff Petrie with two assists in this game. So I got to give shout out to Petrie there. He did factor in, in a big way in this game, um, frankly, on both goals or, or two of the three goals for the Canadians. But, you know, again, Jeff Petrie doing his thing, but, Chris Weidman, Chris Weidman with the pass down to Cole Caulfield, who has an empty cage to tie this game. And then, of course, guys, we know we just showed it to you. And and Cole is playing so inspired right now. And you know what? Frankly, the, the reason I said Cole Javu is because, as you guys know, and we're going to show it to you right now, the goal that he scored in the overtime last night, we know was just identical to, the, to his first NHL goal, which was also an overtime goal. You think Cole Caulfield likes playing on the three-on-three? -three? I don't think anyone, especially him, wants to change that format anytime soon. So here is uh, at Cole's first goal. The same kind of backhand dish from Petrie. Same kind of play. Here it is. Um, he has not been able to get off. Two and a half. Petrie to Caulfield scores! Cole Caulfield, his first NHL goal is a game winner in overtime. Little bit of teardrops there seeing to Foley at the end, but that's okay. Uh, this is a quick recap, guys, but Marty St. Louis getting his first win as the Habs NHL, as, a, as an NHL head coach. Really fun stuff to see here, guys. Um, just a one taker here today, but uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know. Let me know what you thought of the game. Um, let me know what you think about the difference that Marty St. Louis made with uh, being, being the head coach right now for the Montreal Canes. And what I really liked also about the start of the overtime, by the way, guys, is that Caulfield started the overtime. You know Ducharme wouldn't, wouldn't have started him on his first NHL goal. That was like, the, what, the fourth or fifth shift into the overtime when he finally got the goal last year for his first one. So you got to like what you're seeing, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and then hit subscribe to see more, guys. Thanks for tuning into the Drew Deeks channel. We'll see you again very soon.